Hello everyone. My name is Jessica Vasquez and I'm the Curator of Integrated Sciences for the San Bernardino County Museum. And today I would like to share a little bit about myself and what I do for the museum. I attended community college after high school where I applied for an off-site intern position with a local museum. At the time, my work experience consisted of bowling alleys, housekeeping, and various jobs in the restaurant industry. Yet I managed to get an interview and was later offered the position. I began working in the education department, creating programming, planning events, and all things relating to public engagement. Soon I was offered the opportunity to work in the natural history division. There I gained experience working with herbariums, mounted taxidermy, skins, minerals, and rocks. I continued my studies, eventually transferring to a four-year university where I became heavily involved with herpetology. I spent much of my free time collecting reptiles and amphibians throughout the Mojave Desert and surrounding areas. I spent two summers performing fieldwork in Southeast Asia, primarily in Malaysia and surrounding islands. During that time, I gained a deeper understanding of the significance of scientific fieldwork in all disciplines. I also overcame many personal fears, like handling a sea crate, and I got the opportunity to work on my amateur photography skills. My favorite part about fieldwork is experiencing different cultures, customs, landscapes, and of course the food, including the kind that makes its way into your dish unexpectedly, like you can see here. It's a good thing I'm not easily grossed out. At the San Bernardino County Museum, I have been able to combine my professional and academic experiences. One of the things I do as a curator of integrated sciences is care for the museum's biology collections, which include ornithology, the study of birds, oology, the study of eggs, herpetology, the study of reptiles and amphibians, mammalogy, the study of mammals, entomology, the study of insects and arachnids, and botany, the study of plants. It's impossible to talk about the museum's biology collections and not mention our birds and eggs. Much of the museum's ornithology and oology collection was amassed by Wilson C. Hanna, a Quilton resident and egg enthusiast. The museum contains the fifth largest egg collection in the world. And although it is primarily comprised of North American species with a regional focus, thanks to collectors trading back and forth, the museum houses birds and eggs from all over the world. The museum's herpetology collection includes snakes, frogs, toads, newts, salamanders, turtles, and tortoises, most of which are native species. Today, these specimens are more important than ever. As our landscape changes, they can provide essential data to researchers about our local deserts, mountains, and coastal sage scrub plant communities from where they were originally collected.
The herbarium collection housed in the museum is truly special. It houses native plant species of the United States, focusing on Southern California. Working on herbariums gives me a sense of history as I read the data found around the borders of old newspapers. It feels a little like going back in time. The museum's entomology collection contains insects from some of the largest insect orders, including our beetles, true flies, butterflies and moths, bees, wasps, and ants, as well as aphids and cicadas. It also houses arachnids, which include spiders and scorpions. The museum's mammalogy collection represents our region's mammals, from small kangaroo rats to top apex predators like the California grizzly. This collection contains various species that are locally extinct, as well as some that are vulnerable in our region. The collection is comprised primarily of skins and taxidermy specimens. Caring for our museum collections includes conservation and preservation work, as well as data entry, data analysis, research, and more. This is something we don't do alone. The San Bernardino County Museum has a band of incredible volunteers and interns. In the Division of Integrated Sciences, my interns and volunteers are trained by me to help with important projects needed to maintain our collections for generations to come. Each collection requires different skill sets, and every curator at the museum does a remarkable job in ensuring all interns and volunteers are equipped with the knowledge and training required to achieve properly caring for our collections in accordance with best museum practices and standards. Part of my job is to work alongside the curator of exhibits to create, curate, develop, and install meaningful and scientifically accurate exhibits for our community. Our exhibits provide a space for private reactions and reflection to take place while increasing scientific awareness within our community. To make our exhibits more inclusive, we have began translating our exhibits in Spanish, which is something that is near and dear to my heart. Please enjoy this video of a walk through our Hall of Biodiversity and a video showing Argentinian ants attacking and killing parasitic wasps that are being used to combat the Asian citrus psyllid. Hands down, the best part about working for a museum is connecting with people. We do this through our programming, camps, special events, exhibits, art collections, community partnering, and hands-on engagement. We provide a venue that facilitates multi-generational conversations, highlights current research, and provides regional identity. I work in the museum field because of the impressions museums can have on an individual. I remember visiting museums as a child and those memories stick with you. Museums are one of the few places where I believe true community impact can occur. Museums have the ability to reinvent themselves time and time again. And I believe that the future for museums and what they have to offer is limitless. 
museums have the ability to bridge culture, history, science, and humanity. Very other few places have the arsenal to achieve this. I am very thankful to have had the experiences that I did. And now with over 10 years of museum experience, I continue to learn and grow professionally here at the San Bernardino County Museum. Thank you for spending time with me today. Our newly revamped gardens with interpretation and labels are truly spectacular. Filled with cacti, palo verde trees, crioso bushes, desert willows, choyas, California natives, and much more. They are a must see. Thank you for spending time with me today. I would like to leave you with this calm walk through our desert garden. Muchas gracias.